right now during the shortage that we're in, the crunch is particularly pronounced on the lower end chips, the 4G chips rather than the 5G. Right? Obviously, a lot of the component suppliers want to prioritize on the higher margin products, the leading edge products, and they're putting a lot of that into the flagship 5G stuff. Um, of course, it's not to say that Xiaomi doesn't have those products. They, if anything, on their earnings call, they emphasize all the progress that they're making with so-called premium phones, and that definition is 450 US dollars and upwards. But the reality is the bulk of Xiaomi's phone sales are on the low end. About two thirds, in fact, of their phone sales are under US $200. And you compare that to a lot of the other Android vendors in the industry, they're at around 40, 45%-ish of that figure. So Xiaomi is much more exposed to the challenges on the low end of the market, um, which as you said, in, in good times, was the thing that helped propel them. But now the challenge is, you know, obviously they've been hit by not getting enough components uh, in the most recent quarter. And so what does the road ahead look like, 2022 for Xiaomi? Yeah, so, you know, they've indicated on their earnings call last night that they're, they're expecting tightness through the first half of next year and possibly some relief going into the second half. Generally ties to what we're seeing as well, too. We're looking at at least several quarters of tightness, particularly for that low end. Uh, so it is going to be a challenge for them. Um, in the meantime, for the total market, we're looking at about 7% unit growth this year, going to about 3% next year. Actually, we're, we're just a few days away from releasing our new forecast. Those might be fine-tuned slightly downwards as well, too. Again, given the tightness that we've seen in supplies, it's really a reflection for that matter of the you know, supply constraints rather than demand. demand. The good thing is the demand is still there. It's just that that supply mm -hmm. hasn't been there to meet that. And yeah, that's going to continue to be the situation for several quarters going into next year.